What's good, man? What's good, y'all? It's your big homie, big bad day, man. How how old is too old, y'all? Seriously, let's let's seriously please uh answer this question. How old is too old? At what age? And by too old, I'm talking about too old to be uh promiscuous, uh too old to be dating, too old to be single. Too old to be a still a fun person, a fun girl, a fun boy, a playboy, a playgirl. Uh, how old? How old is it to when is it too old to be in them streets? Hmm. Because what you might not realize and what people need to realize. All the crap that they told you to sell you into being a good old slave, a.k.a. A good, obedient, uh, ready, willing, and able participant to do whatever, whenever. The things that they sold you to turn you into that, a.k.a individualism aka selfishness aka um putting women in the workforce even because what you don't realize and you might not even think about shit like this but majority of women didn't even start working in America until like the 1950s so from the beginning of time, and I'm talking about working in the workforce, the, the clock in, punch out, punch out job situations, because uh, parenting, being a mother and a housewife and all that shit, that's real work. That's a lot of work. It takes a lot to run a house and keep a household going. And, you know, and I'm never going to talk down or, or speak like it's easy or it's nothing just to be a mom or a wife or a homemaker, because that shit is very honorable. And it's very, you know, it's not not easy. Everybody can't do it. So shout out to all the real uh, people, all the real women, all the real people who are um, holding it down and being traditional and doing your thing and, and maintaining your home and maintaining uh, your family, keeping the families bond together. Because, it, like I said, when they told you you didn't need somebody else, you could do everything by yourself. That puts you in an individual, uh, individualized mindset. And when you got to the individualized mindset, that made you start, you know what I mean, uh, questioning your counterpart, a.k.a. the man, disrespecting the man, not needing the man, not wanting the man around. And that affects only from, that only started happening from the 60s and 50s all up until now. So it only has been going on for a good 50 to 60 years. It ain't even that. That ain't nothing but your grandma. So that's why you seen your grandma and them live how they was living. Then you seen your mom and them generation, our mama's them generation living like they was living. It's only been two or three generations. It ain't even been that many generations, two to three to four generations. People think time is something that's so infinite. Time is very quick, and it's and, it, and it's a, only a blip in a moment in time. So you gotta, motherfuckers should choose to to li uh live life more seriously, you know, because life is a beautiful experience if you do it right. If you suffer because of mistakes, see that's the thing they told you. You know, everything is just be free and be uh sexual and empowerment to be this and empowerment to do this sexuality is not empowerment sexuality is for procreating and pleasure sexuality is not for nothing else but procreation aka making children and pleasure because when you're married to somebody when you're in a relationship with somebody and committed to them y'all supposed to please each other and t and take care of each other and keep each other going that's what sex is for. It's not nothing that so should be so glorified. 
it is not the end all be all. Look, you have you got women nowadays who know they have no other position in life, who know that they have no other qualities or skills or they can't do or it seems to it seems like this. It seems like they know they're out of the game, so they got to figure out how nasty and freaky they can be. And that's just the saddest shit in the world because a real wholesome man does not want a, a whore. He wants the whore in the bedroom for him personally, but he doesn't want her to be perceived. A real man doesn't want a woman who's perceived as a whore. I'm telling you, it's like, look, why do you think, why do you think porn stars are having such a hard time right now in the world with the dating market? Pay attention to the, to the old retired porn stars and how they look at life and what they want and what they get because of their uh, choices and their lifestyles. See, these these fake ass jobs and these fake ass positions for money and these fake ass moments in your time in your life made people feel like it was more important to get the glorification of the moment than to fulfill their duty and they and they position on planet Earth. And see, this is the thing. We're living in this fantasy of you can be what you want and you can do whatever you want. Right. So these people are doing what they want and trying to be what they want. And they did and it didn't work for them. So now we're in a situation where we're watching people suffer because they did things that didn't work for them. We're watching a lot of people suffer. Men and women. Um, motherfuckers are suffering because they did not do. They didn't do what was right. They didn't they didn't uh, prioritize relationships in their youthful, beautiful days when. Let me say this, ladies, because I'm talking to you. I'm talking to because I love you and I need you. You know, we need each other. And so I'm talking to you so I can help you. People are like, why do you like to focus on these type of issues? Because these are the things we need to focus on to better ourselves as a people. Listen. When you're young and beautiful, that's your chance to get you a husband. When you're young and hot and beautiful, you're not supposed to be frolicking around and letting anybody and everybody hit it. You're not supposed to be frolicking around and letting all the exciting roughnecks and thugs and all the bullshit pookies and and ray rays and all these uh, nook nooks and all these uh, man man niggas. You ain't supposed to be letting them niggas hit it. You're supposed to be looking for your husband. Because your beauty will fade as you see, as you are ex experiencing. Because beauty is a thing to attract. It's like a flower. And I said this before. It's like a flower. The flower opens up to, to be beautiful only for a moment in time. And then what happens? They open up. The flower opens up. And they give off pollen and they give off uh, the pollen for the uh, for the for the pollinators, a.k.a. the bees, a.k.a. the men to come in, get some of that pollen, a.k.a. hit it and then spread this spread, this, spread the seed and germinate other plants and uh, wildlife. So the act of the flower when she's beautiful and then she's in her prime, instead of wasting your seed on letting Pookie and Ray Ray hit it. Why don't you find somebody who's worthy and lock it in with the man and grow with the man and, and develop with the man? No, they don't like to do that. They like to take the thug nigga with the pistol who's knocking motherfuckers out and he's a bad boy and he, he got the big dope sack and he making shit pop off. And he coming through with 10 racks and this and that. You think how long do you think 10 racks last? How long does 50,000 last? If a nigga scamming and, and, and getting money illegally, there's no longevity in illegal money. And I'm not hating on a nigga who's selling, selling or anything like that. I'm saying there's never in history, in the name of America, been a, in history that had been a dope dealer who could grind forever and just get away with it. It don't happen. So... If you these women are out here choosing these type of men who are going to lead them to a path of excitement or hell. 
And then they look up once they've burnt themselves out and wasted all their youth, which is their 10 years of prime from their 20s, from their 20, say from from 20 to 30. That's it. Once that 20 and 30, once them 10 year range of time runs out, you got to ask yourself, what did you do with those 10 years? What were you doing? Why the fuck did could you not find a husband? Within 10 years, but majority of these women slept with more than 10 men within these 10 years. And I'm not here to shame in women. I'm because niggas do this shit too. niggas. Men don't figure out um, what they want to do, but it's also different because men do not develop fully until they're in their 30s. Niggas, men don't get in their prime until they're in their 30s. Women are. And everybody knows this is science that I'm talking about. Women develop very faster than way faster than men. That's science. So y'all's prime is earlier. A man's prime is later because he develops later. This is simple science. We're not the same. You can't do what niggas do. And now we're seeing. Legions, legions of women that have ran through themselves, AKA trying to do what men do, thinking you could run through men and do all that. You can't, cause the man's running through you. He's running and jumping up and you running and jumping, running, jumping. You're laying there and receiving. You have to open up and receive. You're not the giver, you're the receiver. So you can never, you can never do it the same way that we do it because the effects is different for y'all because y'all are receiving while we're giving, we're giving the sperm, we're giving the seed, we're giving, y'all are receiving, you lay down and taking it, you're the receiver, we're the, we're the quarterback, you're the pitcher, I mean the catcher, and that's how it's supposed to be, and it's a beautiful, normal, old, natural thing, you know what I mean, so we're, t- we're seeing it now, where women are suffering because of their going against natural order, so you have to ask yourself, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because when's the last time you seen a grandma with a nice flower dress on cooking in the kitchen and then uh, playing with the grandkids, reading stories and teaching the grandkids about her past time? When's the last time? And I know it's some out here. I know it's some real women out here. And God bless y'all for keeping hope and keeping families alive. You know, God bless y'all because without y'all, Everybody knows the woman is the the backbone of society. Everybody knows the man is the, is the foundation, but the woman is the backbone of society because behind every good man is usually a good woman motivating and keeping him on track. So we need y'all, man. We need y'all to straighten up and fly right. I need y'all to straighten up and fly right. And you're like, why are you talking about things that you can Because guess what? At least if I try to even the playing field out here to provide the right information for people to get on the right track and even the playing field, then I could maybe potentially find what I want in the mate. But I can't never find what I want in the mate if I don't even let it be known what is out there, what I want or what is uh what men want. Because all men speak the same thing. We're all saying the same shit. We've been saying the same shit. You know? We ain't changed. Y'all changed. Y'all switched up on us. Y'all want to be us. And that's not our fault. We didn't change up. Niggas, it's a couple of bitch ass niggas who, you know, took the bait and bit the apple. You know, you know, biting the glizzies. You know, it's a bunch of niggas who, you know, the glizzy niggas. But at the same time, you know. It is what it is, nigga. Can't control the world. You just got to do your thing, you know. But women, if you're interested in having a husband, listen to the advice of a man. If you were interested in having a man, listen to a man. You can't find no motherfucking man Listen to women. I'm going to tell y'all something, and I'm, I'm, I know I'll be running. But listen, why do women talk to each other about how to get men, but they be single? It ain't going to work like that, sweetheart. It's what we want. Mm, mm, mm. It's what we want. Y'all get together, right? And do the BBLs, Brazilian butt lifts. Y'all get together 
and do y'all's hairs and do y'all's nails for each other. Y'all get together and do this shit, right? Y'all are getting together. Girl, this going to look cute. I'm going to slay him. I'm about to drop 20-inch bundle. I'm going to do the 50-inch Remy bundle. What do we, I've been around women all my life. I, it's, it's, it's beautiful, and then I see it. But y'all don't even have to do all that shit. You don't even have to do all that shit. Majority, man, most niggas don't want none of that shit. Because two things. We don't want to, we going to take it off. That's what we really want. And two things. We don't want to pay for that shit. And you don't want to pay for it. So why are you addicted to something that you don't even want to pay for when we don't even need or want to see it? Don't you realize you put yourself in a bag, a trick bag, so you could look pretty? And it looks good. The hair and shit looks good. The little fake ass weaves, wigs and shit with the with the edges and shit. The shit looks cute. You know, it could turn a scarecrow chick into a, a pretty little, you know, whatever. But at the same time, y'all, we don't want all that. We want you as you are to, uh, you know, to be able to take care of yourself. We want a woman who can do her own hair. We want a woman who could do her own nails, who's self-sustained. We want a woman who could teach our kids, who can, you know, you know, nurture our kids. We want a woman to have families with. We don't want women to be shaking and twerking. Don't nobody want to see a real. I'm going to tell you another thing, ladies. Real men don't want to really see shaking and twerking. They don't. You know what that says to a real man? Listen to me. Or don't listen to me. I don't give a fuck. It's my channel. Real women. I mean, real men. When they see a when they see a woman shaking her ass online, that shit says, "I'm desperate for attention. I need validation. I want to hear somebody. I want to hear some comments and ego boosters. And then on top of that, I want to link up with one of these, the best one of all of them. This is how sick their mind got. The women think they're so selfish. They want to link up with the best one of all of them, which would be hundreds of niggas, sometimes thousands." And scan through them and entertain them and all that until they find the best one perfect for them. And then they'll do, you know, whatever's clever for them. But entertain hundreds of men along the way. You go into a woman's DM and I'm just going, I, listen, I'm almost done. You go into a woman's DM right now, your girls. Now, maybe not your girl, because I hope your girl's not doing that. But you go into a woman's DM and that bitch be having 50 dudes in there. They entertain or at least chit chat or at least uh, if they're cute and if she's beautiful and popping, she's talking to 50 some dudes online. I'm telling you that I've been there and done that. <clears throat> it's your big homie, big baby, man. What y'all going to do? You're going to change. You're going to stay the same and keep making yourself look good for each other. So y'all can be at the restaurant. Look, hello. It's not funny either. Be at the restaurant with each other. Girl. Ain't no man in here. Girl, I wish my, it was a man in here, girl. You go out looking for a man. So why don't you got them go in looking for a man? Fix the inside. Then once you get yourself on track, everything will flow because you'll attract the right thing once you're doing the right things. When you're shaking your ass, you're only going to attract cash, tricks, thirsty niggas, and, and, and sometimes evil niggas. Because it's weirdos out here who be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So watch yourselves, ladies. Carry yourself with more dignity and self-respect than just trying to be a booty rump shaker, man. Because do that for your man. Get your man. Get your husband. And shake your ass for him. And make him realize that you don't want to shake ass but for nobody for him. And he'll trick on you. He'll he'll pay your bills he'll take care of you. he'll do everything a man as long as you're being loyal to a man a man will take care of you a good one a good man but guess what y'all go all for the same nigga the dope boy gangster deadly piece of shit who means you no good mm -mm 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 -mm. and what has it got you four five babies three baby daddies and 20 years of heartache Let's wake up, y'all. It's your big homie, big baby. I only say this shit because I love y'all. 
I'm tired of this time wasting. We don't have another decade to waste.